Jim and Mayim, the spanking. <laughs> <laughs> Just go. Well, <laughs> <laughs> the spanking was in the script from moment one. It was in the table read of the episode. However, it was off camera. And it was like this trio of a joke that went on. There were three things we did throughout the episode that were supposed to be off camera. And we would pan to these I guess monkeys in your apartment, you know, see no evil, hear no evil, whatever. <laughs> and the naughty happened off camera. Well, throughout the taping, it was like we were dropping one monkey scene and, and we were doing it on camera. We were dropping another. And by the end of the taping, it was like, we're going to do this damn spanking on camera. <laughs> <laughs> and it was, I would say, one of the hardest things I've ever had to do because... I found it tremendously amusing. <laughs> I just, I was pissed because I thought, well, damn it, I would have practiced how to control myself <laughs> if I'd have known all week. But all week I was slapping that ass off camera. <laughs> and, <laughs> you have no idea how game this one is for yeah. crap like that. I'm not kidding. <laughs> what? Uh, you, you were lying down on that couch. I, I was like, here, here I, it comes. I, I, oh, I, I, remember being, I remember being in my dressing room while you guys were shooting that because it was the end of the show. And I didn't know there were any, I still thought it was off camera. And I'm like, God, what is taking so long? And I come down and I just see this big TV with him spanking her ass. And I'm like, what the hell happened? <laughs> It was very visual. They've never requested that many takes before. It was a lot of takes. <laughs> you guys probably don't rehearse like six times before your shoot, before, hopefully not for you, right? No. Uh, <laughs> there was some redness. <laughs> <laughs> I never saw it. I never saw it, but I did ask her. I, <laughs> and I told her, I said, look, to get the sound we want. I said, you let me have it. <laughs> it's all in the name of art. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> That's um, okay, this, I think this is coming from a movie theater out there in uh, Overland, Kansas. Hello, cool. Overland, Kansas. Cool. Um, and I, I think this is a pretty one to pick since everyone's wearing Bazinga shirts like this one here. <laughs> Who else is wearing a Bazinga shirt? Raise your hand. There you go. So I, I don't know if this would be for you guys or if it's some crazy thing that somebody else came up, but how did the word Bazinga originate? Uh, Stephen Engel. Was a, Stephen, Stephen Engel. was a writer on the show, I think, in the second, first, first second season, I think. So. Uh, um, and that was um, Stephen's word for gotcha. Uh, and he would use it in the writer's room. He would often use it by, uh, he would put together and uh, hollowed out <laughs> Um, grapefruit, yes, and, and give it to me, and scotch tape, <laughs> scotch tape, and, together. and then I would say, "Hmm, this looks like a lovely grapefruit to have. I think I'll cut into it," and I would open it up, and it would be empty. And Stephen would say, "Bazinga!" <laughs> um, and that is the level of humor <laughs> you miss out not being part of a professional comedy writer's room. <laughs> Never did I think we were about to wander in the land of a hollowed out grapefruit when I asked that question. You, you never do, Paul. Yes. <laughs> now it's a B. Well, sometimes I do. <laughs> now that's a B. Oh, yeah. A well, act, that's one of my questions. Let's, that, thank you for the transition, Chuck Lorre. Wonderful. Sure. Um, I don't even know where it is in here. It's called a segue. But it's a, sorry. He just corrected me and said it's a segue, not a transition. No, it's cool. <laughs> <laughs> um, I have that. But it was, since you brought it up, there is um, a B. Let's talk about the B. B, there's a B named Bazinga. Something Bazinga, yeah. You, yeah. you glossy a Bazinga. You brought it up and now you don't want to talk about it? I don't know anything about B. <laughs> well, no, no, wait, I, well, again, I read the news. And um, <laughs> <laughs> uh, apparently, and correct me if maybe you know better, but I believe this B sort, ha, sort of, this B has been around obviously for a very long time. And it, if I understood it correctly. They were having trouble classifying. They had trouble 
Because it looked like another bee. It looked so they, so it was tricky. Similar. they felt that it, it was, was playing a Don't joke. Don't all bees basically. look like another bee? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> what? No, and nobody asked you. Nobody I'm, asked you. <laughs> <laughs> I don't read the news. Okay. Yeah, so then he revealed himself, Bazinga, I'm a bee, or a new bee. A he new said that? The bee said that? In his way. That's so cool. Way. His own way. In his way. <laughs> this, is, uh, this is one of those times where I'm glad I don't understand English that well. <laughs> You, you could have been, if you opened up a tape together grapefruit and a, the bee came out of there, it could have been. There's also, there's also an asteroid named Sheldon Cooper. There's a, yes. Really? Yeah. But, Please don't hit Earth. Don't I don't hit know Earth. anything about that. You don't know about that? No, I mean, I knew it, it existed, it was but I don't news. know I why they knew yeah. that. <laughs> no, there's, an, there's a Sheldon Cooper asteroid. Wow. Be kind. <laughs> Sheldon Cooper.